Hey guys, Matt here and welcome to my fragrance obsession. Now I do want to apologize for my rather terrible appearance. Uh, I did actually just wake up not long ago because it is like nine o'clock in the morning. So yeah, I hope you're all doing very, very well today. Now in today's review, I am going to go back to the Italian house, the Italian designer house of Salvatore Ferragamo to not a new fragrance, but relatively new. It came out in 2015, and this is a... It's actually the newest flanker to one of Salvatore Ferragamo's uh, most popular fragrances, actually. And that fragrance is the line of Aqua Essentiale. And this fragrance is called Aqua Essentiale Colonia. Now, this fragrance... Uh, I picked up this for like £22, uh, it might have been about 25 actually when I think about it, but it was on offer, 50ml ball, it was the last one on the shelf in Debenhams, which is a department store, and I was in the store obviously, just smelling different fragrances, but I wanted to buy a new one, I didn't really know which one to get though, until I saw it, and I tested it out and I really liked the smell of it. So I decided to get it, and since then, I've just fallen more and more in love with this fragrance. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the presentation, and then we'll go into some more details about this scent. Here we go. Now, the presentation for this fragrance, quite a simple bottle design, although it is pretty smart. I'm not going to lie, it is really, really nice. A uh, simple bottle design, we get a metallic cap right here, which has this white rubber bit, just that goes all the way around, basically. The atomizer looks like this. We get Aqua Essentiale Colonia underneath. We get Salvatore Ferragamo. I apologize for all the fingerprints that are on there, guys. I really do. Um, can we see the phone screen? Oh, uh, yes, that's we... Yeah, look, you can see me! And that's pretty much it. The sprayer, of course, like I showed you, but I will be spraying this fragrance on my skin in a sec. So yeah, this is a really, really cool bottle design. It's pretty genuine. Everything on it is metallic. There's nothing cheap about it whatsoever. It's actually quite a heavy bottle for a 50ml. You can get it in two sizes, guys, I believe. There's this size, the 50ml, and there's also 100ml as well. But uh, that obviously will go for a higher price, yet I only paid like 25 for this. 23, I think. God, my memory is terrible. But uh, yeah, it says here, Ferragamo Parfums, uh, made in Firenze, Italy. Yeah, and it's also got a batch code and that on the bottom of it right there. So, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about some more details and then onto the smell. Now, when I was out the other day, I did also smell the original Aqua Essentiale by Salvatore Ferragamo. And I, it's actually a really nice fragrance. It's it's a little bit like fragrances like Versace Pour Homme or, you know, other types of aquatic scents. Like a, just a nice fresh scent. So it may not be unique, but it is a nice summer fragrance. However, this one, this is probably one of the best from the company that I've smelled. I mean, sorry, that was my laptop. Uh, I have a lot of favorites from this house. You know, I really like the original Womo. Um, I really like Salvatore Ferragamo Pour Homme. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of fragrances from the Salvatore Ferragamo house, which are re actually really good. And this is definitely one of them. Brilliant sprayer on this. Now let's talk about the notes. Now, the notes for Aqua Essentiale Colonia by Salvatore Ferragamo. In the top, we get bergamot, cardamom, and aquatic accords. Now, when I first smelled this fragrance in this store, I was just smelling it for ages. And what I really love about the, this overall fragrance is just the freshness of it. This isn't just a fresh fragrance. This one is way more complex than that. It has that sophistication behind it. It has this very sort of, um, you know, Italian suit, um, very well-groomed sort of smell. It just smells so classy, you know? That's what I really, really like about this fragrance. And it's not often that I've come across a fresh scent that gives off, whoop, that gives off a classy sort of edge. And this one is, is definitely one of the best for that, if I'm honest with you. But in terms of the notes, you just get this very nice zesty bergamot. It's not overly acidic, it's a very nice clean, it's also got a bit of a, a barbershop opening as well. It's, it's all, it kind of reminds me of an Italian barbershop, literally. Um, you know when you get the smell of like, you know like the creams and stuff? With the smell of like, 
the the aftershaves and stuff, it kind of gives off that smell. So it's kind it's just, it's just like a fresh cream sort of smell, but it's also got this sharpness from the citruses. The cardamom gives this fragrance a nice powdery feel, and then there's just that aquatic accord, which really gives this fragrance. It kind of gives it a bit of a saltiness, but no doubt elegant and sophistication at its best here, guys. In fact, guys, if you are a big fan of Aqua de Palma's Colonia, then this is a great fragrance to go for. In fact, this is so similar to Aqua de Palma's Colonia that it's, this is actually a better fragrance, in my opinion, because Aqua de, Colonia, uh, Aqua de Palma Colonia is a clone concentration, so the longevity isn't quite the best, considering you're paying a lot for that fragrance in the first place. This one, you're paying, you know, how I, like I said, I paid about £23 for this for a 50ml. And the longevity is pretty amazing. Like, I get about six to seven hours out of this, which is really good for a fresh scent. It's just got a lovely, lovely smell to it, guys. The, the initial opening is just like that fresh burst of the citruses. It's kind of got this herbal quality to it. It's powdery, it's barbershoppy. It's gorgeous, guys. It's really, really nice. But like I said, if you're a fan of Aqua de Palma's Colonia, then you'll really like this one because it's actually a little bit similar. Now, in terms of the middle notes, this is when the fragrance starts to get different. The middle notes for this fragrance, we get orange blossom, lavender, and clary sage. So after about the two hour mark, the fragrance starts to lose that sort of powderiness and it actually gets a little bit sweeter on the skin and I feel that that comes from the orange blossom. It gets a little bit more citrusy. Um, the powderiness sort of starts to come up a little bit more at this point, but the citrus notes definitely become a little bit more toned down. And what you get is this very rich lavender and the lavender is definitely what creates the sharpness in this fragrance. It's definitely what gives this fragrance that elegant approach. And for me, it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. I want to apologize, guys. There are people actually outside, so I do apologize for the sound. Um, so yeah, beautiful fragrance at this, at this point. That lavender note really makes it. It's just, it's a really, really nice fragrance. It's so classy and clean. Love it. Now, in terms of the dry down, we get the notes of Ambroxan, Vetiver, and Tonka Bean. Now, the vetiver in this fragrance is pretty strong, although I wouldn't call it a, like a main vetiver fragrance. So if you do like vetiver, it is pleasant in the dry down. Um, I would say that this fragrance was mainly constructed around the lavender, the bergamot. Uh, that aquatic cord as well gives it that freshness. But what I really love about this fragrance more than anything is the dry down. Guys, the dry down smells so classy so rich that it's 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 an amazing smell it's it's just it's it smells expensive it doesn't smell like a fragrance that would cost you know 23 quid for a 50 ml bottle i mean that's insane you know but it smells ever so good and i would highly recommend that you check this one out it's it's a great fragrance it's just a great fresh scent it's also got the sharpness as well it's a little bit herbal powdery but it's such a nice smell, guys. It's definitely one of the cleanest smelling fragrances that I actually own. And I really, really do love this. It's it's a spectacular fragrance. And yeah, like it's definitely made me want to check out more um, fragrances from Salvatore Ferragamo. I need to get my nose again on the original Aqua Essentiale because it is a good fragrance. And I did like it when I smelt it. Just need to get myself a bottle. <laughs> Which... Hopefully should be soon, I hope. But yeah, great fragrance, guys. I would highly recommend you check this one out. It smells so good, and I think you will be pleased with it. It does smell really good. So, guys, I am so tired, as you can probably tell, and I'm surprised I'm doing quite well with this review. You know, I haven't slurred my words. I haven't made any mistakes yet, so I'm doing quite well. So, yeah, I might have a nap after this, actually. But I really do hope you've enjoyed this uh, fragrance review, guys. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for all the support yet again respect you all guys keep smelling good and i will see you all in the next episode bye bye for now guys